you're ready. You ready there, kiddo? Yeah, Grandpa. All right, let's get ready. Let's get going. Here, take your ball. Okay, I'm and stuck. Yeah, let's I'm roll stuck. that ball around. The... I'm stuck. And up and down the fingers. And around the thumb pad. And the pad below the pinkies. Now let's take the ball and put it in between the fingers and just press. And press. <laughs> and press. And press. And the other hand. Hold on to it with the other hand, right? Like that. Good. Keep your other hand there to catch it if it comes out. And let's bounce the ball on the ground and catch it. As best you can, try to surprise yourself. Do it with the uh, same hand and then alternate hands and then back trick yourself doesn't count if you don't miss it once don't trick yourself once whoa i haven't messed up once i caught it i caught it with my elbow and three oh God, you bounce it like a basketball two and one no where is the ball all right pick it up Reassess how your feet feel on the ground. They feel Pull like on feet. the ground. Put it in the middle of the foot and press down three times. Move it up to the knuckle of the big underneath the big toe and press down once, and then move it across each of those knuckles, pressing down once. Hold on to something if you need to. Rotate on the heel and slide it across the knuckles. Slide it across like this. I am trying to, it's hard. Get back on your heel. And then roll it down each of the bones. Oh my God. And then roll it all around. Call it scribbling. Good. Put your feet sideways so they can see. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, and reassess. My foot still feels like Feel how that foot feels as still opposed feels to the like other. Still feels like a foot in the middle of the other foot. One, two, three. Up to the knuckles. One, two, three, four, and five. Roll it across the knuckles by pivoting on the heel. Laterally. And roll it down each of the bones. And scribble. And three, two, one, reassess. Get that ball out of the way so you don't trip on it. See how you feel. Now you got to dance for us? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. You're doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. No, you go like All this. Right. Go like this. Go in the shoulder when you clap. Go in the shoulder when this, you clap. No, no. Come on, you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. I'm going to shake the tree myself. Oh, 
Orange justice. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's come to center and take two deep breaths. And twist at the waist and swing the arms. I do not hit me. I'm not trying. And three, two, and one, ow, 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 centering, ow. a nice deep breath. Ow. Fill that rib cage. And let's do some motion wave breathing. Coming in. And two deep breaths. Fingers and thumb together at the base of the spine. Put your leg out at a 45 degree angle and gather in starlight. Oh, that doesn't work. My out. All right. And center, and let's go to the other side. And center two deep breaths. And let's march in place or jog. And with 21 seconds left. You can go all out or pick it up just a little. Or do something else to get the heart rate going if you want, if you feel safe. Do side jacks or do squats because we're going to do the Zach Bush um, exercises today, which has a bunch of squats in it. Or you can do regular jumping jacks. We go to sprint in. Be safe. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three. Seventeen, eighteen, twenty-one. Two breaths. Twenty-one. 
Put those hands together. Come Chibo. And let it dance us around. Shifting weight from one foot to the other. Letting the ball go up and down and sideways and expanding contract. And centering, one breath. We'll interlace our fingers, bring the hand up over the head. Reach up towards the sky, bend back. If you can, otherwise hold there and we're coming back. And go on one side. And then the other. Centering and coming down slowly. Pushing out of the chest. Bring it down. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Raise your hands up. And a little more. And let them go and shake them. A shrub. And roll the shoulders back. I'm not going to roll forward. As I mentioned the other day, I saw something that made a good point about, you know, we spend our lives trying to fix this forward lean that we have. So why should we roll forward? Let's just roll back. Let's extend our arms and rotate. Feels good. So if you want to do it, do it. But uh, I like the idea of just rolling backwards. Makes sense. Other way. Thumbs up and down, up and down. Up and down, let's cross the arm at the throat and press on the elbow. Other arm. Playing with uh, our balance the whole time. And he's just shifting the weight from one leg to the other. Maybe standing on one leg. Pressing down on the elbow. And then the other. And coming out, rotating the neck. And the other way. Nod. Go ear to shoulder.
Look over one shoulder. And then the other. Look up. And down. Let's put one leg out in front of the other, sole off the ground, heel on the ground and lean into it, stretching the hamstring. You can hold on to the back of something if you need to, a counter or a chair or your pole. You're hinging at the waist, other knee is slightly bent. Come on up and let's do the other foot. Other leg, I should say, other hamstring. Come on up and let's do a side lunge, stretching the adductors and holding on to something if you feel it all unstable. And the other way. Turn around. Front leg is at 90 degrees. Back leg, you're pressing that heel towards the floor. Stretching the calf. And turn around and do the other way. Come on back up. A slightly different one for the hand. Grab, put your hand down, put the wrist of the other hand, uh, the thumb uh, of the other hand under the wrist, and then just press towards you. And let go. Do it again. Let go. One more time. And let go. And then we'll do the other hand. Let it go. And one more time. And let it go. Let's grab a stick. We'll uh, do Dr. Lee's set of stick exercises today. So it starts behind the back. You can leave it at your shoulders if that's as far down as you can get. If you can get it further down on your back, great. You can hold on to the stick itself or if you can reach the end, do that and rotate at the waist. And if you want, you can start getting your legs and hips into it. You don't have to. Just be careful, particularly that first step. And three, two, and one, bring the stick back in front and just oscillate back and forth in front of you. And then we'll go to one side. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
and then the other. Bring it out front, flop the wrists, palms are facing down, and then we'll get the elbows involved. And then the shoulders. And then come back, reverse your grip so your palms are up. Do five flops. Come down. And we'll come down and up. And bring the stick to the back again. Just let it relax back there and start bringing your knee up in a march, your knees. Just go as high as you feel comfortable doing. And if you can, hold it and we'll do five rotations. We'll alternate this time, five on each. Great, take the stick, bring it in front. And let's do 17 toe and heel raises, pausing for about a second on each. Toes, heels, toes, two, three, Ten. Fifteen. Sixteen. And seventeen. Excellent. We'll put the stick down for now. And as I mentioned, we're going to do the Zach push. Four minute routine. Hopefully we'll do three sets of 12. Um, just to review again quickly. First one is a squat and do the squat however you feel comfortable. You can just go down like so. You can get all the way down great. You can do it by doing it on a chair. Just coming down and getting up. Uh, second is a uh, hand raise. Third will be the uh, big circle. And the fourth is the military press. So we'll do three sets of 12 reps starting now. One, two, Eleven and twelve, and then the arm swing, hand raise, arm swing, alternating, bring it up to about the shoulder, hands are in a fist, 
like this. 10, I think, and 12. Now the arm swing, you make a light fist again, bring it up over the head and hit and come down. Alternately, you can go through the middle if that's easier on your shoulders. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And 12. One, two. You want your arms back, sort of parallel with your ears. And shake it out. Ready? We'll go slightly faster this time. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 12. Arm raise. Big circle. Try to keep those um, hands right over your head. You want your trunk aligned with your hips, which are aligned with your ankles. You're straight up. Seven. Twelve, and the military press. And 12. Shake it out, last round. Ready? Just a tad faster. One, two, three. Just do what you can. 11 and 12. And 11, 11, 12, 12. I'm gonna go through the middle this time. One, two. And 12, and the military. And 12. Great. Shake it out. So again, we're talking about posture and keeping straight, keeping your trunk, uh, your head over your uh, shoulders, your ears, even with your shoulders, your trunk straight over your hips. All great for posture. Yesterday I took a seven hour online course on becoming a TRX instructor. These are TRX straps. Great devices, there's other suspension straps that use body weight, to do things, talk about that more later. But one of the things they were talking about was this idea of posture. And if you imagine your head as mass and your neck as space, your chest as mass 
and your midsection is space and your hips is mass, stand up and try to create more space in um, the, uh, the, the two areas, the neck and the midsection by elongating them upwards. And that gives you that straight posture. So think of these two sections as the ones that you really want to blow some air into or whatever. Um, all right, let's uh, do one more thing um, before we do our closing and that's the heel to toe walk. You just want to put a heel in front of toe, keep your eye on something in front of you. Now you can either turn around or if you feel up to it, go backwards, toe to heel, be next to a wall or have a pole in your hand if you'd like for extra support. Way to progress this as always is you can start looking to one side as you move and then the other. A little bit of wobble is okay. Just make sure you're close to something that you can grab onto. And again, you can turn around or go backwards. And of course, another way to progress that is just to um, speed it up. All right, let's come in and center. Two deep breaths. And open our hearts. Pause on that inhale and let it out. And center, two breaths. And bring it down, heavenly chi. And going down and gathering up earth chi to the heart. to a new week. Hey, Paula. Hey, Suzanne. Happy stole, solstice. Oh, yes, indeed it is. Yeah. Now on light. Light. Let there be light. There's going to be 13 minutes more light in just a week. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions, comments, thoughts, queries? We enjoyed it and we're, yeah, we're going to take you. off though. Okay, great Bye. to see you. Thanks. Um, today is a rolling day. We haven't been rolling in quite a while.
And um, I figured I'd focus on the lower leg, the calf, which we haven't done in quite a while. So grab a ball, grab a roller if you're with us uh, on this journey. And uh, let me fix that camera. Yeah, that's better. And we'll get down. And actually, you want to probably get your one leg behind you. Maybe I should go the other way. Like so. And put the ball under the lower calf, right above the ankle on the other leg. And just move it up as best you can. Maybe this would be more comfortable. Yeah, I find that more comfortable. Rolling a little bit at a time. And you're trying to find the tender spot, as always. And if you do, you can move around. Hold it. And you can always put your other leg on top of it if you want to increase the pressure to get that knot out. And we're holding about 20 seconds or so. And then roll the ball sideways a few times across that spot. And as always, if um, you found other tender spots, you can always go back to them. Meanwhile, we're just going to roll up and down the leg one more time, nice and slow. Seeing now there's a spot that I would go, definitely go back to on the other side of my leg. Um, on the lower calf. And we come up and we'll go to the other side. Same thing, you're starting right at the bottom of the calf, rolling up slowly about an inch per second. Looking for a tender spot. I'm going to go back down to where I found it on the other leg. And there's right there too on the um, outside of the um, cap. Roll down. It's quite tender there. So we're going to hold. I'm going to put the other leg on top of it, increase the pressure. And Wait 20 to 30 seconds. And then I'm going to roll it laterally across. And I'll bring it down. I'm closest to the bottom of my leg there and or close to my foot and I'm just going to roll it up slowly again one more time looking for other spots and they are there and I'll go back later and get those 
But that's it for the bowl. Now we're going to do the side of the calf with a roller. You can use a hard roller or a soft roller, whatever. But use it at the end. And you want to sit sort of cross leg and put the one leg um, across it and roll up and down. Again, about an inch per second. You're getting the outside of your thigh, of your cap. Again, if you want to, you could put the other leg on top, balancing yourself with your hands uh, behind you on the floor and increase the pressure. You find that spot you can hold, that spot that's tender. I did. And that's about 20. And again, you can slide your foot back and forth laterally on the roller to attack that knot from the other direction. And then let's do the other leg. Again, get the side. Rolling it back and forth. And in that spot, increasing the pressure by putting the other leg on top if you want, don't have to. And three, two, one, sliding it back and forth on the roller laterally. And that's that. Now there's another way to do the side of the leg and that's um, by doing sort of a side plank and rolling up and down as we do with most others. It's a little bit more difficult. When you find a spot, you can come down on your hips and rest and uh, stay there for a while. But um, whichever way works for you. This is good core exercise while you're at it. And I hope that feels better for your lower legs. Everybody good? Thanks, Dom. Thanks. You're welcome here. Take care. Thanks, Steve. All right, Mean. Have a good one. You too. Loved all. I will pass that along. Tell Lily we're happy to see her, even for a little bit. Bye-bye, <laughs> okay, Susan, Paula, bye, Richard, bye. Al, okay. Ava, and Joel, and Itzhak, so long. Till tomorrow.